All right, folks, it's day five, our last day of gameplay. We've only got one riddle yet to solve, and... Wow! Six solved! Bill already really knows about science it. science to the max! Great work! I know we can beat this thing and stop that meteoroid. Now, look, I I'm having a little trouble with Max. I'd like you to come by my office. I, I got some ideas about that last riddle. So now you want me in your office. Didn't seem like that last time I was in there. The minutes pass like seconds in this game, but I think you knew that already. All right! You're really turning out to be a hero of science! Is it just me, or does Bill look a little big for that desk? You know, I've been thinking about that sleeping dog riddle. What if the shaking were caused by some... Hey, what's going on? It's an earthquake! No, it's not. The camera's just shaking. Whoa! Another earthquake! That was wild! Plates shifting, miles underneath us. Cool! They really take natural disasters in stride here, don't they? Where it happened. I'm gonna check for damage. Hey, Bill's head disappeared and his wrench is back on his desk. See? They must have everything super glued down here if it still looks the same after an earthquake. Oh, I should have known this was coming. Uh, well, folks, here we go again. More bad news. Another quake has struck. Yeah, Let's yeah, just tell us where it hit and how hard it hit. Even though we're supposed to be gathering that information Jet. ourselves. Early reports indicate that the earthquake had a magnitude of 5.6 and was located at the same epicenter. Seismologists say that we can expect even more shaking as the aftershocks start. Back to you, Chet. Or aftershocks? Hey, does anyone have a hard hat I can borrow? I'm going downstairs. This has been more bad news! Where can I get a desk that has downstairs access when you go under it? Tectonics Lab is over here. And... Hey! I already know what everything in here does, Bill. We measure our earthquake distance here. Like that, and... Bill says... Good work. That second quake was almost as far away as the first one. Go to the fault finder and find the epicenter. You know, contact other seismic stations throughout the world. Just be glad you don't have to pay long distance. Yeah, that'd suck. Now, what distance do they say for us? 231 kilometers. I forgot exactly how far away the last quake was, but I'm pretty sure it was close to that distance. Time to fill this map with circles. Buenos dias. Our seismographs are telling us there was another earthquake 10,298 kilometers from here. Oh, gnarly wave, dude. Uh, forgot about this guy. That earthquake was gnarly. That second quake happened 2,302 kilometers away. Oh, gotta run. Yeah, go away, you horrid 90s stereotype. Konnichiwa, Night Abzu. We show evidence of a second quake striking 6,998 kilometers away. Siureta, I mean sayonara. Is sayonara a Japanese word or is it Italian? Something is definitely going on out there. The circles are all overlapping, right where the last quake happened. I'm sorry to interrupt, Bill, but, but things out here seem to be heating up. See, now that's a more convincing earthquake. Analyze ASASP as soon as scientifically possible. Uh, try the Morph Master. We need to figure out what's going on. Okay, here's the data I've collected. Analyze it by entering this code into the Morph Master. 27, 42, And hurry! Guess it's morphin' time again. And we may actually need the Power Rangers now. But we probably can't call them, so let's just type in that code here. And we get a subduction zone. Volcanic activity? I love a volcano! Thank you, Bill! A science pun was exactly what I needed at this time. We need to panic butter. 
There's an emergency message from Sam! And Sam's not able to relay that message to us himself. This mountain is... is actually a... a volcano! I need your help! Where's your funny now, Mr. Rockman? We've got to save Sam! Do we have to? The launch pier ASASP. That's as soon as scientifically possible. If you have to explain the acronym each time, maybe it's not a good one to use. The access code is Crater. How appropriate. Now, if memory serves, we get to the launch pier through here, on the first floor in the Skyland. So we're finally allowed access to this part of the lab, on the last day of our game. Hey, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you to hold the blimp steady so I can get on board. Sam, come on, climb aboard and let's get underway. Thank you. I hope Connie doesn't get mad that we borrowed her blimp. Yeah, that was my next question. Why couldn't you let Connie do this? What have you done with her, Bill? Hope we can climb to a point where there's a tailwind to catch. Sam shouldn't be hard to find because he always carries a radio beacon. Think they added enough boings to this scene? It's gotta be somewhere near these dots. That doesn't really narrow it down much. Oh, Bill! I'm okay, but... But the radio beacon fell out of my pack back at the landing site, and now, well, well I'm lost! Well, isn't that a contrived inconvenience? My Nikom's almost out of power! How are you filming this, then, if the Nikom is in your hands? And at the top of that, there's a big boulder of pumice, and then there's some basalt columns, and, and you just can't miss it! Whoa, if we don't find Sam soon, he's gonna bake! And that's not cool! Uh, the way Sam is, I kind of thought he was baked more than 90% of the time. I can't get much closer. The winds make the machine hard to handle. We can't land. You, lower yourself down on the ladder. Me? Suppose I get lost too. When you reach the glacier, look for a canyon, then a big boulder of pumice, then basalt columns. I'll circle around and pick you up. You're out of your mind if you think I'm going out there on my- oh! Ow. Uh, I have downloaded directions for finding Sam to your Nikon. Click the map button to see them. Okay, so glacier, canyon, pumice boulder, basalt columns, Sam. Now I sound like a Dora the Explorer episode. Ugh, abandoned in the wilderness to look for a nutty geologist while a meteoroid's about to hit. How did my life come to be like this? Well, at least it's a pretty location. Okay, so where's the glacier? I think that's it. Now, River Canyon. I wonder if this is a real place in Washington State. Or did they just jumble a bunch of random features together in here? Uh, where's the pumice boulder now? It's confusing out here. Now I'm lost too. See what you've done, Bill? We interrupt this CD-ROM to bring you more bad news! Haven't I heard enough from these guys? Meteoroid impending due May is now closer than Venus is to the Earth. And it's still speeding along on its collision course. We're just about out of time. That's Even Venus and Earth are separated by like 20 million miles. So unless impending due May is traveling at the speed of light, I don't see a reason why we should panic now. Meteoroid crash are already being felt. Calendar companies have all shut down. And watchmakers are out of business. Yeah, but the liquor stores are still open. All because, well, frankly, there's no need to even think about time. So if you really want to forget about time, you know where to go. Something right away. That's right, you heard me. Unless somebody does something fast. Chet, take a chill pill. The fat lady hasn't even sung yet. What does opera have to do with a meteoroid? And where can you get these chill pills? Who could have guessed that Chet Brinkow would be a literalist? 
All right, back to the search for sand. No, I don't know where I am going. Oh, is that the pumice boulder I passed there? I guess it is. I thought pumice was lighter in color than that, though. Ah, this is not going well. I may wind up... Oh, there's a passageway here. The basalt columns! Hang on, there's a sign here. Mount St. Bernard. There's no such place. I just hope I don't get basalted while I'm out here. Hey, Sam, I just made a bad joke. Laugh at it so I can find you. Whoa, it's about time. I was just getting ready for dinner. If you were going to eat yeah, yourself, you Sam, that's dinner? physically impossible. I think this thing's about to blow. Unless we have rocks in our heads, we better get the heck out of here. And I mean faster than a pig at a butcher's convention. Sam, are you coming with me, or are you just going to sit there? Go on, go on, I'm right behind you. I just got to pick up a few specimens. Okay, you're an idiot. I'm leaving without you. The ladder? Bill, you could have brought me over here, but instead I had to hike through an unrecognizable landscape and get lost while a volcano was about to erupt. I hope I'm getting a bonus for all this. Bill is promptly strangled when his scarf gets entangled in the propeller blades. Great work! Move over, will ya? It's a real Oh, so Sam did manage to climb aboard with us. Well, what do you know? The good news is, we're out of danger of the eruption. But the bad news is, the meteoroid impending Dume is almost here. I sure wish I had an answer to that last riddle. Oh no. I, I don't have the answer to the last riddle. I have no clues or anything for it. Any clue? All of humanity will be wiped out and I don't know what to submit. What kind of a sleeping dog causes you to bake when he barks? The only dogs in this game have been Padlo and that stupid St. Bernard Mountain. There's a sign for Mount St. Bernard in here that I apparently took. Maybe I can use that for an answer. Well, I don't know. It is just a sign for the mountain and not the mountain itself. I hope Max accepts this. We did it! We saved everyone! We can now bask in the glory of our notoriety! Researcher saves the world. It's Canada who saved you all. The mood at Nye Labs is ecstatic, yet cautious, as Bill Nye, Sam Andreas, and the heroic new science researcher... I have a name, you know. We're here now with the science guy himself. Bill, how do you feel? Well, Corinne, we're not out of the woods yet. You know, we haven't been able to fully influence Max, and the meteoroid is due, well, any minute. Wait, so I've not yet stopped impending Dume, and the papers are reporting that I have? Well, well it's American journalism for you. Activity. We are switching now to a live feed from Max. And I guess we're going to be watching the rest of this through a newspaper. Humans. Here's a little something you might enjoy. Eight ball in the corner pocket. I didn't enjoy that. That's going to make smaller meteors rain down on us now. Me that the human race can be even more intriguing than a huge hunk of rock colliding with a planet. Meteor collisions are lifeless, but you have demonstrated imagination, creativity, and clear thinking in a crisis. Not to mention an odd sense of humor. Yeah, look who's talking. Lord human, I propose that we work together to solve Earth's toughest problems. Let's take science to the max together. I wouldn't even run a lemonade stand with you, Max. <sighs> well... That about wraps it up from Nye Labs. As you can see, people are again dancing in the street. Seeing as that's black and white stock footage again, it tells me not enough people actually cared that we saved the world. Closing thoughts. Bill? Thanks, Jack! We did it! Woo! We saved the world! <laughs> thanks to science, thanks everybody at the lab, especially that new researcher! Uh, 
can't remember the name, but great job! So after all I've done, you can't even remember the name of the friendly nation to your north that saved you? <laughs> You know what? No. I'm not ending the game that way. This is how I should have done it. Whoa! Good thing this is just a CD-ROM! <laughs> nope, this was all real. I was the only one who escaped while everyone else died. The end. So that was Bill Nye the Science Guy's Stop the Rock PC Game from 1996, a game that's probably older than some of the viewers watching this now, and quite a convoluted one, too. It's targeted for kids ages 9 and up, but I'm hesitant to recommend it to anyone that young, purely for how complicated it is. The way some of the riddles are worded is downright confusing. And some are just stupid, like that last one, which turned out to be a location that was just made up for the game. I guess you could argue that it's trying to teach kids critical thinking and other such skills that come in handy in the science fields, but the fact that you're on a time crunch as you have to solve all these before impending doom hits Earth may add a bit of stress to this too. Yeah, even as an adult, I found things that were a bit frustrating and complicated about the game myself. It was alright to play again for nostalgic purposes, but for reasons outside of those, there's not much replayability value in the game. I never thought this would be such a complicated series of videos to make, for reasons unrelated to the game. I originally wanted this whole series to be filmed, edited, and uploaded within about a month. I never anticipated that I'd have to re-record and heavily edit parts, as well as buy a whole new laptop, but I hope I made it entertaining enough for you guys to sit through. And if I didn't, well, I hope I'm having something better out in the coming months. Anyway, thanks for joining me for Bill Nye's Stop the Rock Game. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go wash the volcanic ash out of my hair. See ya!